Meckel's diverticulum is typically located 40 to 100 centimeters proximal to the ileocecal valve. Capsule endoscopy in this 23-year-old patient with mild iron deficiency anemia shows the entrance of a Meckel's diverticulum. The bridge between small bowel lumen and entrance is thickened with ulceration. The capsule presses against the entrance of the diverticulum with short glances into the lumen. In this 21-year-old patient, capsule endoscopy had shown active bleeding in the distal ileum. Consecutive retrograde single balloon enteroscopy demonstrated a Meckel's diverticulum. When partially intubating the long diverticulum with the endoscope, an ulcer was seen. Gastric mucosa was not detected, although diagnosed in the resected specimen. This 75-year-old on clopidogrel for coronary heart disease suffered from severe anemia. Capsule endoscopy showed an ulcer with elevated margins and two lumina in the ileum for more than one hour. Retrograde double balloon enteroscopy confirms the ulcer opposite to the orifice of the diverticulum. A very thin circular ulceration around the orifice is seen as well. Now the tip of the endoscope has entered the diverticulum without evidence of ulceration. Contrast medium installed through the working channel shows the diverticulum without filling defects. The presentation of an ulcer opposite the diverticulum is unusual. The next 41-year-old patient presented with massive rectal bleeding. Capsule endoscopy shows the entrance of the diverticulum. The capsule now temporarily drops into the diverticulum. Here, small bowel mucosa with minimal peristalsis, partially atrophic villi and missing folds is seen on the left side of the image. On the right side, the heterotopic gastric tissue is visible. These elevated nodular and polypoid lesions have a more reddish mucosa without villi. Meckel's scan was negative. Again, endoscopic findings were confirmed at surgery.